All right, everybody, we're back with another farm together. This was, the last episode was great. I'm really, really happy and pleased with how that turned out. It's not fully done yet because I still have a lot of decorative ideas to do out there, but for what it is, I think it looks awesome. It's a really, really great start. Um, let's go ahead and go get started with our animals first. Go get them all fed. We have the money to do it, so let's go ahead and get that started. over here anymore um, just having all these animals done at the same time it's just we've gotten really active over here I like it a lot has changed for us uh, over here by the where the animals stay we've really upgraded in it so the unicorn is a lot bigger than the regular horses I just realized that Definitely not the same breed. But it's fine. I'll leave the unicorn over there. So we need alpine goats to complete. I want to take a look at their timer to see where they're at. The ostriches, they're so cool. I really like that. Okay, so the alpine goats are on 20 minutes. It's not too bad. Okay, we got money trees. It's very nice. After burning through all those uh, diamonds in the last episode, we need it. <coughs> Alright, so I want to go get fish first just to get them on a timer as well. That was four pink ribbons. So now we need 70 cucumber. That's going to be real easy. Let's take a look at that quest. Some children of Ashbourne have reached their coming of age and they've asked me to host an over the top party to celebrate. I don't have enough ingredients for everyone, so I need your help. 70 cucumbers, four ribbons. The alpine goat's going to get us 10 ribbons. The anglerfish is going to get us six. And then two more belted cows is going to get us two ribbons. That's not a lot. We'll have to keep farming and keep selling uh, the cheese, the jam. There it is. There's the new vineyard. I love it. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So we'll move back over kind of towards our, here we just fast travel over there. And then we'll, uh, oh we're already topped off on gas, okay we'll just go ahead and start harvesting.
lot of material. I forgot about them out here, the angler fish. They're a part of the quest as well. Definitely need to get that. Alright, let's go ahead and grab... Go ahead and grab our peppercorns. I was hoping we were going to level up in that. Broccoli is so expensive. Alright, some more gems. This is going to be really nice. We need this gem boost. We really did drain all of our resources in that last episode. Strawberries. Glad those are finally done. Look, it takes so long. Oh, more white peppercorns. Wow, I really went in on uh, getting getting our gems back. We went from about 100 gems to 600 just in this little short time. I know it costed a lot to do it, but we logged out with a decent amount of gold. So we didn't we didn't force it. We didn't, you know, miss out on anything else because of it. So really nice level ups. Uh, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to gander at something because I kind of figured we were gonna get a new item or something. We did get a new animal. We have the albino donkey. Okay, that's really interesting. I didn't expect that, but I mean, it's nice. So when we head back over there, we'll go ahead and grab probably two of those albino donkeys. So the corn is still on a timer. Let's go ahead and just water it. Ooh, honeycombs. Oh, 
Okay, and then we're gonna get a good amount from these flowers, actually. There we go. Those paid off. They really did, even though they were that expensive. level up. I wonder what that's gonna get us. It's gotta be something special. Cool, so, uh, oh my gosh, yes it did. Alright, we're shutting down the tractor, we gotta look at this real quick. Okay, so it didn't get us a new animal, but we have spinach. Wow. You buy it for six grand, and then it gives you sixty-six hundred. That is, that is incredible. That is a large amount of gold. Holy crap. Okay. Cheddar cauliflower. Nine. We can definitely do goji, uh, black goji berries again. Um, beets are still a little low. Oh, red grapes. Well, we have more red grapes. I want to go check out the vineyard after this and see if we're going to harvest it or leave it as a decorative. Uh, tomato, yellow peppers. So we're doing pretty good on everything else. Cucumbers are not in season. We'll have to wait to get that quest done. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and we don't have... Oh, we do have sunflowers. So let's get our sunflowers going right here again. For now, this will be our dedicated sunflower patch, so we can constantly sell at the uh, constantly sell at the nut market. All right, let's go ahead and check the rest. So we got a new tree, the lychee, lychee tree. Okay, and that gives you fruit ten thousand per. Wow. Um, so no animals. We got a new fish. We got the discus fish. And then we've got a new market item. What is it? A modern cottage. Eh, not a fan. Cool looking, but not a fan. So that actually is an actual house. You have to buy it as construction stages. 25 tickets per, wow. I, I would never. That's far too much money for just an okay looking house. Cause we have we have the stone house, right? Yeah. Yeah, the stone house. We got ours for cheap. Look at our house. Uh, 120 gems per construction stage. I didn't realize that. So that's so expensive for a for a house. 25 pink ribbons per man. That's a hundred pink ribbons. That's a lot. Okay. Um so yeah, so we've got a new house there. Um let's go ahead and check. We got a yellow pot, a vintage camera, and then we got tiki torches. Those are really cool. All right, so <clears throat> go ahead and sell a little bit here, whatever we can. Um, bakery, yes. Fish market, yes. Spices, we don't have any, there's no new shop for mushrooms, so let's just keep selling here. The nuts, we don't have enough. Wow, you need 400, so we definitely need to keep a steady flow of nuts growing. Because we won't be able to survive with just that just that sunflower patch. We're going to have to do a, a patch of peanuts as well somewhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and gas up. <coughs> and then I want to go check out the vineyard. Actually, you know what? Let's go feed the animals make sure that they're all good.
everybody's doing good. We'll get some, we'll get those albino donkeys while we're out here. It's gonna take such a long time to get the alpine goat quest done. We have, I, I think we have six of them. We have six alpine goats to try to push it along. That's gonna take a long time. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our two new donkeys. The albino donkey. 15,000 per... Very cool. I love the ostriches. That's really that's really awesome. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so we've got a thousand gems. We definitely did really good getting our stock back up. Um, let's head right over to the vineyard. Oh wow! Look at how the vineyard looks on the map. That's really cool. It actually has the rows. Also, too, I think I'm going to get rid of a good portion of these olive trees, and we're also going to add some cypress over here. So, whether we... We could... Actually, we could do this. Let's take a look and see what this looks like, because I know cypress is probably going to be pretty expensive. Oh, not too bad. 1.25k. Let's see how that looks, just kind of from a little back up a little bit. Yeah, I like that better. I want to keep all the olive trees, and we'll just add in cypress, kind of sparingly, just in between these spaces here, and then we'll kind of just spread them through the vineyard as well, kind of like how we did the. Uh, we'll leave that one because that's got the doorway. Uh, but kind of like how we did the uh, olive trees, just kind of put them in there sparingly. I think it'll just look nice. Uh, this is already turning out to be a really, really favored project of mine. And uh, many more to come, because I have a lot more ideas similar to this. We'll go ahead and just move that. We'll find a new home for the uh, stone columns soon enough. And then when we head inside the vineyard, we'll kind of just put these just random. Kind of like one right there. Right there. Just for decorative purposes. I just think it looks nice. I like that. That adds a lot of just variety to this area. It looks it looks so active over here. Um, so when it comes to the uh, to the harvesting of the of the grapes in the actual vineyard, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's hard. It's hard to say. I really don't know yet. Because we're in the season, so we could redo the red and the green, which is what we did the last time. But if we do it, we're not going to be able to use the tractor. It's going to be by hand, because if we... So we could harvest it by tractor, but we'd have to retill it by hand. I think, I, I think I'm willing to do that. I think I'm willing to at least harvest it. No, technically we can retill it too yeah never mind yeah we'll go ahead and just harvest it i thought it was gonna make us do six spaces <clears throat> but because we're on the dedicated 
Actually, I actually really like this idea. This is actually turned out to be a lot better than I thought. We might even be able to replant it in uh, rows of three, which is not a not a big deal at all. I mean, it's a little time consuming, it's a little different from what we're used to, but um, it's for the the concept of having a vineyard. I mean, really, that's what it is. It's gonna take. It's gonna be a little bit different from just doing nines all the time. So. It definitely looks really cool, though. I do love the way it looks out here. It's awesome. So we'll go ahead and just harvest away at all this. And it, it's going to benefit us in, in great terms of grapes as well. And selling at the grape stand. The grape juice stand. Now, <clears throat> now, when it comes to the trees, a little bit different story. I might just do the rows in them or on the outside. But I don't think I'm going to go through and individually grab all these little trees that we have tucked away in here. It doesn't really seem like it'll be worth it, so we'll just go ahead and keep it simple on the trees. Oh, I just got a, a character level up. What did I say, 50? Yeah, level 50. I'm sure that's going to have something new to it. Level 50 is always a good milestone. Yeah, so I was really worried that when you go to retill the land, it would make you do uh, nine squares around you. But since these are already uh, tilled, we're lucky to just be doing the same pieces that we already had tilled. That's very nice. Or else I may have just decided to leave the vineyard because uh, it still looks really good just as a decorative. Uh, one day it'll probably be left alone, like I was saying in the last episode. One day, I think the vineyard will stay uh, uh, fully grown, and we will just uh, come through, <coughs> just come through and have it as a decorative. We'll have a different area for dedicated grapes um, because this is supposed to be purely decorative. One day, so. But for right now, it's working out really good. We are full in our grape category. Um, so we don't... Let's see what, what we're working with when summer hits. So green grapes will be there, but red grapes won't. And I wonder if blue grapes will pop up. No, they are... Okay, so... We have... Winter. So we'll do red... We'll wait until winter to replant, and we'll do red and blue. Or we could do... We could do rows of green. And leave the spaces for red and blue, and get all the colors in there. That would be pretty cool. I wonder if they if they come out with uh, cotton candy cotton candy grapes. Uh, so let's see. So green grapes we could we could definitely do rows. Let's let's do it. I think it'll look really cool to have all the colors over here. <coughs> and hopefully we'll get a new grape soon. Maybe a black grape. Okay, so we've got green here, we'll do red here, blue here, and then we'll do green. 
so we'll just rotate the rows. It's a pretty good rotation. We have green starting the other side, and then we have green ending on this side. It's gonna look really cool. And the grapes, they take so long anyways that it'll be next episode when we come on to harvest it all. And then all the colors will be done. Cool, I really like this. This is such a beautiful little area now. Okay, let's go ahead and get our other stuff going. I could just sit and adore that vineyard all day. Um, Alright, so spinach, obviously, we're going to need to, but it's very, very expensive. Pineapple, we're going to need to. That's also very expensive. Black goji berries. Uh, let's go ahead and do spinach. I know it's going to be very costly, but let's get it started. so expensive. We just shot through $200,000. So we just spent $300,000 for this patch of spinach. That is crazy. Wow, we're going to need to start bringing in money from another from from other sources. Uh trees, flowers, I don't know. We're going to have to start doing so we're going to have to expand here soon cuz the, the types of crops that we're getting now are just getting more and more expensive. We're going to have to start to balance out what we... We need to be able to buy whatever we want whenever we want to, so... <clears throat> I can only... I can only imagine doing maybe a row. Yeah, let's just do a small row of pineapple, because this is too, too expensive. We just used half a million, yep, $500,000 to do two little patches of crop. We won't, we won't be able to survive that way, that's just not possible. So we'll go ahead and get uh, black goji berries. I'm only going to do a row of these two because it's all getting very expensive now. So we'll have to do, we'll have to do some budget crop as well because we can't just always do expensive stuff. So we'll do, uh, well, hey, let's do peanuts, because we really need to have more nuts on hand. So let's go ahead and do more peanuts all the time. Let's constantly keep that crop coming in. Let me go ahead and gas up so we can finish the rest of this. Let's do aloe vera. Do agave. We'll just do one row. Um, let's do beets. I feel like I've been neglecting the beets a little bit.
Let's do cabbage again. I feel like um, maybe when we get a uh, higher level in cabbage, we'll unlock something else. I'm hoping we do. There's so many different like types of greens and leafy greens that we could be unlocking. Um, I mean, lettuce is already 12. I don't know how much higher you could get in that. Let's do blackberries. Let's do cotton again, just because I want to be able to keep same thing. I want to keep up on selling at the loom. Cool, so that's everything there. That should be all of our patches, I think. Because the um, the sunflower dedicated patch over there, we're leaving that the way it is. So yeah, that should be everything. Let's go ahead and sell whatever we can. <clears throat> it's not much, but we'll go ahead and sell mushrooms, spice, and then grapes, obviously. We have a lot of grapes. It says we were full. Yes, we had 200. Oh yeah, summer. Let's get all, all of our tropical trees over here. Let's go check up on animals, and then we'll probably head back over to the fish. Um, I do want to see, in a second here, I want to go check on the new land and how expensive it's going to be. I'm going to guess 1.5 thousand gems. So we just, we just got one for 900 gems. So I think the next one's going to be either 1.2 or 1.5. Donkeys are starting to get a population going. I didn't expect that so soon. Oh, I think this is our quest. Yeah, it sure is. So we just got a quest. We completed one, we got a new one. Let's go ahead and check out that new quest. Uh, first, let's go ahead and look at this, see how expensive this is going to be. 1.23. I mean, that's really not that bad when you really think about it. I'd say that's quite affordable. I thought they were going to hit us with a 1.5, just because they are trying to make the progression slower and slower. Which would be fine too, because, you know, it. that's what keeps people playing the game, is because, you know, they make it take longer to progress um which is there's nothing wrong with that that's what makes games enjoyable that's everything's not just so easy and handed to you um but yeah so let me just go ahead and guess up we'll go check out the fish here in a second and i'm just wondering because uh now looking at that that it's 1.23 I think we're gonna go ahead and go find a, uh, another patch, maybe maybe a dedicated patch for uh, spices to be able to consistently bring in spices. 
cheese. We got cheese so slow. Six. And you need ten. That is such a slow process. We're gonna save the peanuts. We're just gonna save up, and I just keep the smaller ones here, like the like the stands. I keep that stuff just because it's it's honestly a decoration at this point. We're not using them anymore. Um, so let me let me come up with a dedicated area for some spices. I think something real simple. It doesn't got it. Doesn't need to be too big. We could probably even go right over here. Be a nine by nine. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just use this. <clears throat> so we don't have white peppercorns, so we'll go ahead and just do black peppercorns. I kind of feel like we should have a little bit more. Perfect. I like that. Just dedicated for spices. Whether it's black peppercorn or white peppercorn, we'll just rotate whatever we have uh, access to. So we got a new animal. It is, oh how beautiful, bourbon red turkey. That's gorgeous. Let's go ahead and head right over there and get a new turkey. The birds are the strongest population by far. They're killing it right now. We're lo they're lucky that the, the ostriches don't go right next to the chickens because they'd have the biggest population over here. So... I'm gonna move this long ways, and then I'm gonna put the goats down a little bit, coming down on the side. That way we can expand. Expand some room for the, uh... Oh, we'll leave him over there. That'll, that'll be just fine. We'll just add this. Let's see, one... We'll just do two. I guess technically we can put... Oh, we have three goats there. We could put him right here. Yeah, that works. Well, no, it doesn't actually. Let's bring him back because we need to connect these, these pieces of land to the... Uh, to the feeder, I think. As far as I know, as far as I can see that that works. So we'll go ahead and move him up over there. That way we have the goat still connect pretty cool. Like, I like that. That looks good. Um, I, before I forget, I want to check out that quest. The new quest that we got. I saw asparagus was a part of it. Let's take a look at that. Uh, so cucumber 70, this is the new one, so it's pretty easy, anglerfish 9 out of 10, alpine goat 6 out of 10, and then asparagus 0 out of 30. That'll be pretty easy to get, it's not going to be hard at all. Weird. We have alpine goats quests that are individual. We have individual anglerfish, and then they just threw in alpine goats and anglerfish in this one together. Makes it easier for us. Cucumber 70. I want to keep that one in mind. I think that said it was cucumbers or winter. So asparagus it said 30 that we need. That's not going to be hard at all. We'll get that here soon. We might be able to just go put up a quick patch for it, actually. So I don't forget. We got nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, 
seven. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just do it here. And I'll just do... It feels weird actually tilling with the hand tool. It's not something we do anymore. Um, okay, so... 30 out of 30. Yep, so we're good there. Our asparagus will get done. Oh, wow. Are these the Sevilla, Sevilla tulips? Very nice. Those, those were a long time coming. I think those were like almost two days for that flower. liking the marketplace and the little changes that we've done over time but I just something about it it's just becoming more and more interactive every time you go there it just has a better feel to it gold nugget really So let's definitely harvest uh, our trees because we're going to need the cypress, which is going to help in nuts as well, actually. I didn't think about that. Slowly but surely it'll help in uh, in the nut category. I mean, you know, it's just like, the look at the olive trees and how we had them before. And I think they're all, all the way up to like, what, a 15? They're 19, level 19 for the olive trees. So yeah, it'll definitely start to move a little fast. So yeah, it's already a level 4. We just got those. Matter of fact, just for now, because we are leveling it up, let's go ahead and just go grab the individual cypresses that we put down. And then we still got these this random patch of olive trees. I'm going to leave them just because um, I, don't, I just don't want to get rid of them, and we might have a use for them soon here. Maybe another area where we can put them. The olives are bringing in money now, look. Every one olive is 203 gold. It adds up. Especially when they just sit there and you don't have to you don't have to water them, you don't have to replant them, nothing. They just constantly keep growing. I do want to wait for winter. Um in this episode just so that we can uh replant our other grapes. I want I want to log on to all the grapes being done in the next episode. I just wanted to, like, while we're here... Oh, we got a new tree. Mulberry. Very interesting. Okay, so that gives you material. We'll definitely get some of those. Very interesting. They're not even that expensive. And they harvest in summer and fall. That's really nice. <laughs> 2,000 per. We could just set up a dedicated patch of mulberry somewhere. Uh, I don't know where yet, but we definitely can. I think we should. Cacao tree. Apricots. Cactus. 
fig. Some of these trees I have plans for, for like an actual area, so that's why I haven't really been doing them. Um, I do have plans for actually well, quite a bit of these, especially the newer ones. Lychees, that's just too expensive. We can't do that right now. That'd be, that'd be 90,000 gold if we did a, just a 3x3. Three three. Pomegranates. It's all looking good so far. I want to get I want to get those mulberries. Let's go ahead and pick a spot for that. I don't think there's enough room for another nine by nine up here. No, it's close. I think we should make this bigger. Our flower area. We definitely need to make it bigger. I feel like we just need more variety uh, constantly going. And I might stop doing the 9x9s with the flowers. I think I am going to stop doing 9x9s with the flowers and just give them. just give the the flowers individuals we'll probably just do one or two maybe do color patterns or something like that I wouldn't dare get rid of these what is this rosemary yeah I wouldn't dare get rid of these ever so we're just gonna have to keep those the way they are because they were so expensive like one of the most tragic things that's ever happened in this series um, okay, so maybe three, maybe three flowers. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and expand this outwards too, since we have the space and the, the flower little cart kind of dictates where the flowers, the flower area is going to be. So let's go ahead and just expand it a little further outwards so we don't have to get rid of these walls either. And that way we just, you know, uh, another thing too is I, I hate just limiting myself to certain areas and not allowing, like we don't do a lot of flowers, really, we don't. We have so many flowers to pick from, and I only do the bare minimum, we only do, what, nine at a time, so I definitely want to um, incorporate some new ones. We have a ton of new flowers we've never even touched before, so let's go ahead and just... Right there. So I think we'll get rid of we'll, we'll, so we'll keep three. We'll keep three of each of what we already have. Does not include the rosemary. But we'll kind of move them around a little bit.
I just want to kind of spread these out. Oh, I didn't mean to move that. The colors, you know, just color coordinate some stuff. It doesn't got to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not aiming for that at the moment. I just want to spread the colors out a little bit. Just to have a nice little variety. Get some new colors in here. Those rosemaries are still a little close. We'll put one just like right here. That yeah, should be fine. It's not gonna. It doesn't got to be perfect or anything. Um, so we already did oleander quite a bit, but we might add a couple. Lavender. So what do we have right now? We just have the province rose and the Sevilla tulip. So let's go ahead and do lavender. Probably sprinkled in between. So we'll do three lavender. We will do three flax. Oh, let me make sure I'm looking at the cost of these things, geez. So that way we don't start spending pink ribbons again. So flax, we'll do three. And then we'll do three blue bell flowers. Those are really pretty. But I wanna kinda color. So I don't wanna put certain colors next to each other. I wanna put blues with like the reds and the yellows that'll look really nice okay so we got that there white daffodils we already did quite a bit of them we might add some pink daffodils daisies let's do daisies so we'll just get one two and this is all get you know it i'll probably perfect the flower type stuff one day um, it's just not going to be this episode, just because there's really no, there's really no purpose to. Oh, I think regardless, these are all going to look pretty together, anyways. So we'll just do three white hibiscus, pink hydrangea. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get those. Let's put those right, one right there, one right here, and then another one at the entrance. That look look nice. And then we'll do, we'll wait on some of these. I just want to see what we're left over. So common lilac, we'll do one, two, and three. Okay, blue orchid. Oh yeah, we're doing that for sure. How much does that cost? 2.7. One. That's next to a blue. Three. California poppies. One. Two. Three. Regular poppies. Province rose. We we have province rose and yeah, we do. Okay. Um, Romana's Rose. We did a lot of those when the start of the game. Uh, and then Jupiter's Beard, I guess? How many spots do we have left? We have three spots left, but we don't want them touching, so let's go ahead and move this one here. And then we'll put in Jupiter's Beard. I'll just put these in the doorway. Or the archway. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. I mean, and this is this is fine. We're just going to use this area. 
It'll just be our new flower area. We don't gotta get crazy with it. I just wanted to get some new varieties involved. That'll be interesting to see when everything's all grown in the next episode. Hopefully the next episode. I don't know how long some of those take, but... So we're almost entering winter. Let's go ahead and sell just at the market here. Produce truck. And then let's go ahead and... Let's take care of our babies first. But winter is about to be here, and once it is, we'll go and we'll replant the rest of those grapes in the color-coordinated rows. And then we will uh, probably end the episode there. Um, it'll probably be next episode. I have an idea for a whole new area, a decorated permanent area. Um, I just got to pick which piece of land I'm going to use it. How is that enough food? There's like a couple crumbs on the ground there. The Jersey Giant Chicken, they just leveled up. Man, I feel like we got them a long time ago. Very strange. Can't feed that unicorn. I don't know why. Alright, so we just came into winter. I want to just browse through. So money tree for sure. Oh wow, peanuts are about to finish. We'll have to, well, so we'll go replant um, the grapes, but we have to check around at our crop and see if anything's going to be done in this episode. How long was spinach? Since I'm just wondering, it's so, so expensive. Probably two and a half hours. Alright, so we got green, we'll do... This will look so cool when it's done. Totally forgot about these random pumpkins over here. I, ne I never remember this stuff that they leave for us. So banana trees? That's so random. Bananas next to pumpkins. We'll go ahead and harvest this and then we'll go ahead and uh, 
delete these tiles just because it's not we're not gonna grow anything over here. Not right now anyways. I need to find out what we're gonna do with the rest of this land. Because it, it actually is really good land over here. Um Also, thinking of it now, let's get rid of these the asphalt roads. We do not need that at all. Wow, I mean, you really zoom on the asphalt. My goodness. Look at this. Boom. We're killing it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just get rid of all of these. We don't need these. Um, I do have an idea for this area. I just don't know if this is going to be the right place for it. But it is flat and it is nice looking. So what is this, an outhouse? Are you serious? What do we have that there? Let's go ahead and get rid of these man trees too. I don't like these man trees. Kind of takes away from the terrain a little bit. Banana trees don't belong out here. Uh, so we got some little ponds. Very interesting. We have little ponds out here. Little tiny ponds. And then we have... I mean, I don't really know. It's a it's a good area out here. It, it really is, but I just don't know what we can do with it. Well, for now, what we do need to do is we have some quest items. So we already did asparagus, but we need 70 cucumbers, and we cannot afford that right now. There's no way... Uh, let me just do the math on that really quick to see if we could even afford it. So, 1.3... Actually, we can afford it. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. It's going to be expensive, but let's just get it started. That way we can get it over with as well. So we'll do... Let's see. That should get a 72, I think. Yeah, 72 out of 70. So we're good there. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll just have to chip along, ch chip away at this. You know, this is random. I'm not doing. I'm not. This is not staying out here at all. I just needed to get the the quest started for the cucumbers. Um. I'll probably get these to level 5 and then I'll stop hand harvesting them and we'll go back to... I know we need to grab peanuts, those are ready. Alright, so we got level 5, so let's go ahead and fly back over. Let's get our peanuts and then let's figure out what we're going to replace here. Oh, and then black goji berries are done too, wow, okay. So let's go ahead and harvest all this. And then we'll pick a pretty affordable crop, because we don't have a lot of gold right now, so we'll have to play it safe.
Nice, we got a gold nugget. Alright, so... Hickam is a little low. Peppercorns. Let's do beefsteak tomatoes. And then let's do... We'll do, let's do turnips. I don't feel like we get these uh, enough. So I just very quickly want to go through and monitor all of our crop where it's going to be. So three and a half hours on those. I'll go ahead and check our fishies. See where they're at. Oh, another gold nugget, man. We're really landing on those quite a bit. So the grapes that we know the grapes will be done in the next episode. So we got spinach at an hour, two hours. Pineapples are probably going to be 15 hours, okay, 6 hours on the beefsteak. The aloe is 3 hours. Agave is 10 hours. Beets are 5.5. Cabbage is coming up here shortly. Blackberries are three and a half hours. Cotton is eleven and a half hours. And the corn, I think, is still like. We watered it earlier, but I think it's still like. Yeah, 12 hours. So. Um. And then we have sunflowers. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, the, nothing we really need to worry about at the moment. So. We'll just go ahead and just uh, top off animals. We'll probably end this video because there's like I have a new idea for a new piece of land I just I want to dedicate a good chunk of time in an episode to doing something of that nature and we need a lot of money to do it as well not just gems I'll need uh, probably about 500,000 gold to start this next idea that I have it, it, it is, it is going to be a dedicated uh, patch so it's going to be dedicated land dedicated crop um, I might move things around as time goes on just because of new ideas and stuff, but the the entirety of the area is going to be dedicated, so it's going to be really cool. Um, the idea is really nice. I think you guys will like it. It might not be as cool as the vineyard, but it might be better. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm really excited to get it started, though, so I, I definitely want to... Maybe, maybe next episode we'll have to see when we log on how much uh, money we get back from our crop and everything so because we're ending this one a really really low amount of money 32,000 not a lot so we'll have to wait and see what that uh, looks like when that time comes but yeah uh, this one was enjoyable obviously it wasn't as cool as the last one but I can't do that every single episode just because uh, funds and time restraints and stuff like that. So, um, and then, like I said, on the next episode, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know if it's going to be a big one where I do a ded new dedicated area. I'll kind of have to wait and see when the episode starts, kind of what the 
what the money situation's looking like. We'll have enough gems. Uh, we'll definitely have enough gems to get it started, but with that is going to come some decoration gems as well. So just buying the land is one, one part, but being able to fill it and do all the things that I am looking to do, I'll have to wait and see. So, um, yeah, this one was good. I enjoyed this one. It was just nice getting back to the groove of just kind of the normal farming after the uh, big vineyard last episode. So, um, stay tuned and join me in the next one.